Tributes still pouring in tonight for Larry Birchall, former regiment soldier and longtime columnist and political commentator. His family announcing yesterday that he peacefully passed away Saturday night at the age of 75. Accolades for Mr. Birchall coming in from all walks of life, including Premier Michael Dunkley, opposition leader David Burt, and former regiment leaders. Tarai Trot looks back at his life. Larry Birchall spoke with military precision. So they understand it. Otherwise, this will repeat. But at the same time, possessed a quality to explain complicated matters into easy to understand layman's terms. Perhaps a skill he picked up from his time attached to the British Army and in what would become the Royal Bermuda Regiment, where he broke barriers by becoming the first Bermudian Sergeant Major, going on to ascend to more senior positions at war camp. Honorary Colonel Eugene Rayner says he was well known by a few thousand soldiers who went through the ranks at war camp and he served them well and got the best performance out of them, according to Colonel Rayner. That requires some skillful and hard management. But Larry Birchall rose to even greater prominence when he retired from military life to test his hand in the world of politics. He successfully served as a chairman of the Progressive Labor Party's historic 1998 election campaign, where it saw the party grasp power for the first time in 30 years, ending UBP rule. With that on his resume, he began a career in journalism, quickly taking an interest in the economy and writing hard-hitting, common-sense opinion pieces in publications including the Bermuda Times, Worker's Voice, Bermuda Sun, and later Burr News, which was founded by his daughter, Patricia. What exactly do we need to do at that airport to make it function over the next 20 years? And then you use your $89 million for that. Mr. Birchall became a regular commentator on our television and radio stations. He famously became a focal point when the government first announced plans so to far. privatize the airport yes. in a public-private no. partnership deal. The revenue should be $31 million. So the airport should bring in around $11 million in gross profit. One thing's for sure, the contributions of Larry Birchall will never be forgotten.